Claudio Martini at Resistance Training. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday's always leg day, always. It's in the middle between the two uppers. So first, this is, I've actually done warm-up set, very light. This is the actual, gonna start my work set. This is 250. Now, I wanna just tell you, I don't go all the way down ass to brass. In a previous video, the one on alternating deadlift and squats, I said all the way down. What I mean by all the way down is about 90 degrees. I don't believe you should go any lower, maybe parallel 120 degrees. Any lower, it's gonna be detrimental, especially if you're older, like in my age bracket or to older lifters, you only need to go barely above parallel or 90 degrees. The reason being is not everyone has the mobility. And if you watch, a lot of people do full ass to grass. There's just something about it. It looks bad to me. I don't like the way they're coming out of the hole. Some people can come out of the hole very good, but not everyone is able to do it. All right, 250, let's do it. These are high bar squats now. Set of six, 250. We've got 245s, a 10, and a two and a half pounder. All right, hold on, let me get my pad. All right, 250 at six. So I've got four more sets. I'm probably gonna go up to 275 today. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go up to 315. I, I don't usually go up really heavy all the time. 275 is plenty good. That will be my top set for six reps at 275. I've been suffering with a little bit of a stomach bug this week, so I'm just keeping the workout just pretty mediocre, nothing too extreme or heavy. Right after this, I will be doing stiff-legged deadlifts. After the stiff-legged deadlifts, weighted calf raisers, weighted, okay? All right. I, like I said, I take long breaks five minutes, especially on squat day. I take five even to six minutes, even seven minutes rest periods in between. And it gets pretty damn heavy. When it gets damn heavy, what I mean is if I'm going heavy, I take longer breaks. So it makes for long videos. I don't like doing too many training videos. I have a crap camera. Like I said, I just use my iPhone, so it's not that great of quality of video or sound, okay? So, what else can I say? You don't need no more than, like I said, the parallel is gonna be plenty, 90 degrees is gonna be plenty. Anytime you start dipping way down and your knees, see, if you notice when I go down, if you take a look at it, this is how I'll go down. I didn't get a side move, but I'm going down like this. I'm not coming down above, up over the knees. That's going to put a lot of stress like this. You want to come back down like this, 90 degrees right here, and it's going to hit your, your back of the legs, your biceps, your hamstrings, 
and your thighs, and then boom, explode out of the hole. Again, again, boom, explode out of the hole. My legs are good, they're good. You've seen a video, I built my legs doing squats this way. When you start going all the way down, ass to grass, I'm gonna tell you, you're going to place a lot of stress on the knees, especially if you're not accustomed to squatting the correct way. All right, let's move up. We got 250 on here. All right, we'll put another 10 on. Get rid of the two and a half pounder. Two and a half. All right, 265. We're at 265. All right, 265. And this will be the last set we film in this video, otherwise this is gonna be really long. So it'll be a long, long video. I gotta finish this workout out. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I wanna to touch on. Yes, the techniques turntable will be next month. I've been, uh, we've been trying out different cartridges. I, I really, really like the, uh, the uh, Ortofon that I have on there, the Ortofon Black, very nice cartridge. Believe me, I was very impressed. So we're gonna try an Audio Technica uh, the following couple of days from now. I wanna compare the Audio Technica 530, I believe, the 530 MP, I believe. I, I probably got that wrong, but that's about a four to $800, four, $475 cartridge. The, the Autofon Black, obviously, six seven hundred dollars So we'll see how they compare. All right, so 265, last set. Last set for this video. Explode out of the hole. Explode! Yeah! All right. Okay. There you have it. All right. Let me finish this workout. Got two more X. We got three more sets, two more exercises, and we're out of here. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Audio Martini at resistance training. Okay, this is the last set. I'm gonna throw it in here. So I am gonna go up. It felt good. I felt good. I thought I wouldn't be able to do it today. So 315, I wanted to get a different angle so you see the depth that I'm going at. It's not very deep. It's about 90 degrees, maybe a little lower, but just to show you and give you an idea, on how I do the squats. I blast out of the hole, like I said. Not, I don't come down straight where I put the pressure on the knees. I come back. I come back with the hips. All right. 315. Last set, top set. Four. 
So, give you a rundown how I did this. Hold on. Three fifteen for five. All right, here's a rundown. First set was 205, 205. Second set, 225. Third set, which you saw, was 250. Fourth set, 275. Fifth set, 315 for five. There you have it. Excuse the noise. Leg day. Now, we're moving on to stiff-legged deadlifts. Just wanted to give you an insight on what I'm doing out here and the kind of poundages. Now, you've got to remember, I know this is not that impressive, but I weigh 165. I weigh 165, I'm 68 years old. So, I don't think that's too bad. Take care, subscribe, put like to this channel. It's very helpful, thank you. Claudio Martini at Resistance Training. I'm gonna piggyback this video on the finishing of my leg day so you get an idea. This is, we just finished up with squats. You just saw the video. I'm gonna put this on the tail end because this is the second exercise in leg day, Wednesday. Wednesday's leg day, Wednesday's always leg day. So stiff legged deadlifts, two inch deficit. This will be the first set. I'm only gonna do one because I take extremely long breaks. My legs are pretty fatigued from the squats. When I move over to these, it's brutal. I take about five to six minutes, get my rest. I try to do this. These are straight across, 315. I don't raise the weight like we did with the squats. I don't ramp up. I keep this the same. And need be on the last set, if I can't get it, I'll actually remove a little weight, go down to 275. All right, so. 315, first set, two inch deficit. These hit your whole hamstrings, clear up to your butt, your whole posterior chain all the way up. They hit the whole freaking body, your calves all the way up. Start out light with these though. You don't want to go hog while start out light and work your way up. So we're gonna do four more sets. Then we're gonna move on to weighted calves. After weighted calves, high incline sit-ups, and it's a wrap for Wednesday, leg day. Subscribe, give it a like, it helps this channel out, thank you.